Good morning, preschool friends. Today is Wednesday and it's our morning meeting. I have picked a book to share with you <coughs> that has not one, but two F words in the title. Now, Franklin fibs. Hmm, but Miss Courtney, what does fibs mean? Fibs means not telling the truth, not telling the right thing. So if I were to say, this pencil is green, that would be a fib. It's not green. This isn't green, silly Miss Courtney. This is blue. If I were to say, this is green, that's right. That's telling the truth, not telling a fib. But if I said, this one is green, mm, that's not right. That's not the truth, right? This is blue. All right, so let's listen to Franklin's fibs. Mm, let's look at Franklin's face. Does he look happy? I think he looks worried. I wonder why he's worried. Let's read and find out. Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. He could count forwards and backwards. He could zip zippers and button buttons. He could even tie shoelaces. But Franklin could not swallow 76 flies, he flies, in the blink of an eye. That was a problem because Franklin said he could. He told all his friends he could. Franklin had fibbed. Oh, so Franklin couldn't eat all those flies, but he told his friends he could. That wasn't telling the truth. Let's, maybe that's why he's so worried. Let's see. It started with Bear. Bear boasted, I can climb trees, the highest trees. He scrambled on the tip of a pine. The hawk bragged, I can fly over the berry patch without flapping my wings. He soared over the woods and passed the berry patch without ruffling one feather. Beaver crowded, excuse me, Beaver crowed, I can chop down a tree with just my teeth. Beaver gnawed first on one side, then on the other. Chips of wood flew this way and that. The tree crashed down and she said, I can make my own dam. See that? The beaver's making her own dam right there. Franklin couldn't climb a tree. He couldn't chop down a tree. He couldn't fly and he forgot everything he could do. So he fibbed. I can swallow 76 flies in the blink of an eye, he said. His friends were astonished. Watch me, said Franklin. How does Franklin look right there? He looks happy. Hmm, let's see if he stays happy. Franklin gobbled two, four, six flies there. But there was only six flies, said Hawk. There were only six flies flying by, said Franklin, and I ate all of them in the blink of an eye. I could have eaten 70 more. Let's see, said Beaver. Franklin frowned. There was no way he could eat 76 flies in the blink of an eye. No way at all. Oh, so is he still happy? No, now he doesn't look as happy. Franklin had no appetite at dinner. What's wrong? asked his mother. I can't eat 76 flies in the blink of an eye. Neither can I, said Franklin's dad. Neither can I, said Franklin's mom. But you don't have to, said Franklin sadly. And I do, Franklin told them all about the flies. His mother nodded and his father hmmed. You have quite an imagination, said Franklin's father. 
The next morning, Franklin's friends were waiting. Beaver had a surprise. Eat them, she dared. Franklin wrapped a woolly winter scarf twice around his neck. Can't, he squealed. I have a sore throat. His friends laughed. Do you think he really has a sore throat? Or do you think he's saying that because he can't really do it? Let's see. Franklin felt terrible. He couldn't eat, he couldn't sleep, he couldn't think of anything but flies and lies. I could practice until I could swallow 76 flies in the blink of an eye, Franklin told his father. You could, but it would take a really long time. I could, I could stop playing with my friends, Franklin told his mother. You could, but you might get lonely. I could tell them I fibbed, said Franklin. You could do that, said Franklin's parents. And then you could show them what you can do. So he might not be able to eat all those flies, but he can do some things. Let's see what he can do. The next day, Franklin's friends were waiting. I can't eat 76 flies in the blink of an eye, admitted Franklin. We guessed, said Bear. But Franklin said, I can eat 76 flies. Franklin's friend sighed. Really? said Franklin. Franklin ran home. He got the flies, a bowl, some flour, milk, eggs, and honey. He poured and stirred and rolled and baked, and finally, he was ready. Oh, what do you think he's doing with those flies? What do you think his idea is? Watch me, Franklin, gobble the entire pie. There, said Franklin, licking his lips. Amazing! What else can you do, asked Beaver. Franklin swaggered with success. He was about to say that he could eat two fly pies in a gulp. Then he thought twice about it and said nothing at all. Even a turtle gets tired of eating fly pie. So Franklin told his friend something that wasn't true and it made him sad because he knew it wasn't true. So he thought about what he could do instead of telling his friends what he couldn't do. So that is a good idea to think about. If I were to tell you this pencil is green, that's not the truth. That would be fibbing. I should tell you what color is this. It's blue. That would be the right thing to say. It's blue. All right, friends, we are going to end our morning meeting with one of our favorite songs. And I picked this song because it has the letter F in the title. Tell me if you know what word has the letter F. That's a sentence. Another 